What is happening, everybody? We here with a video. Ooh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Y'all already know what it is. If y'all seen any other reactors this morning or the uh, the tweet that uh, Brie Larson put out, I think it was like last night or this morning, earlier this morning, Captain Marvel trailer has dropped. And I am excited. I like Captain Marvel. I like Captain Marvel from DC more or as Shazam as he's known now. Because they can't use that anymore. Because <laughs> they, 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 they let the, uh, the copyright slip. But anyway, no harm, no foul. He's still good over there. And they got their Captain Marvel over here. I know they're... I saw something about their kind of... Going with, uh, I don't say they kind of going with. It's going to be, I guess, kind of Wonder Woman esque, like, uh, well, as far as like the, you know, very feminine, uh, driven type movie. Uh, I don't know if Brie Larson said it or someone from Marvel said it was said it's going to be. It's basically like their answer to Wonder Woman. I was like, you don't really need to answer. <laughs> like, you don't really need to answer them. Like, because that's the one movie that DC has that has, uh, you know, financial, uh, critical, and like audience success. Where all three loved it. Uh, I liked all of them, but anyway, this is Marvel talking about here. I don't need to talk about DC. They finally dropped this. I didn't think they were going to drop it this, this soon. I thought they were going to wait at least until probably like November I thought they might drop the first trailer but they were like fuck it we dropped the the pictures might as well go ahead and drop the trailer right away um, so you know what I'm kind of just excited let's just go ahead and get into it fuck shit let's see if they, they live up to the hype Marvel's definitely good at delivering hype that's for damn sure that you might think the movies like was okay or whatever, but your ass was hype when <laughs> before the movie came out. You was hype. Now when you saw it, it might be a different story, but you was hype when it was coming out. Alright, here we go. Oh no, she's falling out of the sky. She's fine. She's a, she's a super blockbuster. I still got my blockbuster cars. I used to work at a movie store when I was, you know, I was a teenager. War is a universal language. I know a renegade so too when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. I like the music. Space invasion. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nice. I miss you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. That almost didn't seem like she said that. <laughs> like it was a, like a voiceover. Keep having <laughs> these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. She don't remember who she is. It's real. This uh what Captain Marvel. The scrolls. Oh, what the that's she's a scroll. She's a scroll, everybody. Relax. It's alright. So oh, she gonna get the Mohawk? No. Oh, she got some. Thank you. I'm not what you think I am. Why well, I think she going super saying that? Why did I think Brie Larson's voice was deeper than that? I don't know. I don't know why that. Like it's it almost seems like that's not her voice. Maybe I, I haven't heard her voice in a while, but 
Because one of her voice had a little bit more bass in it than that. But that looked pretty good. I love that when she went Super Santa down there. I was like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I, love, I love that that they just added that to the character. Hey, she just goes super sad, and she is like, her power like triples or some shit, or quadruples. But that look, I saw. I know Drew Law's playing Captain Marvel. I think um, that's the person who she gets her powers from. Now I know that uh, it's been a while since I read anything, but. Well, I guess Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, as she used to be known in it. But uh, sh I know she got her. They, they, they. Like I can't remember. Like they was some accident where his powers kind of got, like, transferred to her. But not not like him. Like like he didn't have powers anymore. But like, uh, they kind of duplicated his powers, and and she had his powers too. And I know she can. I know she's strong as fuck. It's been a pan's been a while since. I've read anything where and I'm having a hard time remembering anything about her other than how she got up out. But it looked really good. I like the action in it. Uh I they that uh that uh visual effects for D Age and Samuel Jackson looks pretty damn good. Uh but they pretty good with that over there. I mean when they did that Robert Downey Jr., I was like that looked good in uh what was that? Uh Civil War. It looked pretty damn good. Like it looked just because I watched recently a movie when he was much younger. I think it came out like the late nineties, and uh, I was like, that looked just like him, same body and everything. Like, that must be weird when you look at yourself, because even now, like myself, I look at myself when I was younger. I still see myself. Like it's not like a dramatic change. I mean, I'm a little bigger, but I was pretty much like I was tall when I was very young. I was like six one when I was like fourteen, and uh, I was I was always like heavy set. I was like two hundred twenty pounds, now. and I'm only, I only gained like one inch since then. <laughs> and uh, well, extra like fifty pounds, but uh, over the years. But I look at myself, I still look the same, but when you get like, in your, like, I guess 40s and 50s, and you're 60, you know, on, and you look at yourself, you're like, man, I look, look. and the guy, the comment Robert Downey Jr. did, Robert Downey Jr. did an interview, he was talking about how different he looked, that, uh, but I'm, I'm curious, like, she, does, does she age slower now? I have to read up on her again, like, I didn't, I didn't realize, I don't know if that, that could be just an MCU thing, to where, like, oh, she ages slowly now, or she was in the um, hyperbolic time chamber. Or something. Well, hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, it slows you. Now I'm forgetting that because I was like, you, <laughs> you get a year's training in like a day or something. Like, and and a, anybody who watched Dragon Ball Z you know what the hyperbolic time chamber is. But uh, I'm curious if they're going to just say, well, she just ages slowly now. Because like Thor is like, well, he's. 1500 years old or something in the MCU so I could see them just saying oh she ate it slower just so because they, you know, they're not going to do technology to make her look older I mean in that case they could have just hired a older actress and just if they're going to do a, her in the 90s they could have just made her look younger in the 90s and then the rest of the movies that would be they ain't gonna do CGI. So clearly they're gonna do something where she doesn't they're gonna put something in the in the story where she doesn't age or something like that. I'm curious to see her strength level because I've seen her, you know, take halt take shots from the Hulk and shit. So I'm like I'm curious to see the power level. I know a lot of people were concerned about like, oh they're gonna make her come in and she's just gonna beat Thanos. Like it's nothing. I know a lot of people had a problem with that with Superman and uh, Justice League. Like he just came in, and because the, the whole marketing for that was, like, you, you can't, uh, you like you can't 
win alone or something like that. I can't remember that. But it's like you have to be together in order to win. And as Superman basically comes in at the end, just beats Stephen Wolf's ass. But now I wasn't really surprised. Come like the comic book, Superman beat Stephen Wolf's ass, as far as I remember. Like he was, like Stephen Wolf was not like. Uh, I mean, he has weapons that can hurt Superman, but as far as like strength and speed, like Stephen Wolf is no comparison to Superman. And I mean, you need dark side as far as like strength to someone who's stronger than Superman is. But I mean, he's not as fast. But still, you like I was not, I was surprised at that. So I know a lot of people was like, oh, we don't want to see her come in and just it'll take away from the other movies if she comes in and just. You know, kick Stephen Wolf's ass. Like that's the way people. Are. Me, I don't. If it if they do it well, I don't mind. Like she just comes in. That's come in and be Stephen. She comes in and be Thanos's ass. That'd be that'd be funny if Stephen was in Avengers Four. But uh, <laughs> but, uh it would like I don't. I would if they do it right and they execute it well. I don't mind. I mean, I'm some some people still like they didn't. If they did that, they like I don't like. If she just comes in and just beats them Thanos, but at the same time, Thanos doesn't have uh, with the gauntlet is permanently damaged. So I'm guessing it won't work quite either. It won't work at all. It won't work anywhere near as powerful as it was before. And he's injured because his arms all fucked. He's burnt up. Now I don't know how much that would affect him. Thanos seemed like a pretty tough motherfucker. So, plus he just manhandled the Hulk in that movie, which I'm not surprised. When I saw that, I was like, yeah, I mean, he done that in the comics. He you know, just slaps the Hulk around like ain't nothing. Now, he is, a, he is afraid of fighting the Hulk when he starts getting pissed off. Hulk started getting more and more angry at Thanos. He'll fight him, but he'd prefer not to. <laughs> so... So that makes uh, that, that's how that that's how that those fights go, but uh, I want to see her just straight up just uppercut the halt in the, like the stratosphere or something. Like I don't care. Like people, oh, you can't be too strong because they, you know, the Russo brothers depower all oh, that they, they, they really powerful characters to, so they fit in the universe that they create, which makes sense because if you already built a universe the way you have it. You you kind of you want to depower the ridiculously powerful character, like they've actually increased like Captain America's power. Like I don't think Captain America is as strong in the comic books as he is in the uh, in the MCU. I mean he's done certain feats, like in, in certain storylines, like in the Ultimate Hulk, where I mean the Ultimate Universe, where he straight up just boxed the Hulk and like knocked him down. You know, and I was I thought that was stupid. And even though in in the Ultimate Universe, it almost seemed like the Hulk was like this. That's almost seemed like the strongest version of base level Hulk, cause he just picked up Mjolnir and stuff like that with just sheer strength. So, uh, but I mean, I just I want to see I I I, I just kind of want to see her just go full. But the only thing about that is then you say, well, cause people love Thor now. Since you know Ragnarok, and especially they made him better in uh, uh, Avengers Infinity War, because Thor, I was like, Ugh. like Thor was just not, I wasn't feeling like, especially after uh, uh, um, the Thor: The Dark World, I was just really like, I don't even like this character anymore. But I was like, he's in the story. I mean, he's in the story. But I was just like. Mm. I'm not from feeling in his in his own stories anymore. So, but then they, I think they revived him and the, just adding really basically slapstick comedy. They that was part that was the best thing they could have done with him. Uh, they it, it went a little overboard for me in the movie with the, the the comedy, but it was still overall enjoyable film. Uh, and then when they did with him in Avengers Infinity War, I was like, yeah, this is. This is the door I want right here. But I want to see Brie Lawson just slapping him in the face. Like, just three stooges in his head. I want to see her just come out and just, just, just start laying waste to everybody. But she just comes out and just goes full Super Saiyan 2 with lightning and shit all around her. And she just straight up just slapped Tony in the, in the head. 
and put a big dent in his armor right, right there. Like I, I just want to see her just go off. And then, but then, but but against them, but Thanos is more of a equal fight. I don't know. I'm just talking out my. <laughs> Either way, I mean, however they do it, I'm sure they're gonna all fight just like that. I've seen them do in the comics where they all kind of attack Thanos one by one. like they they want to attack here, knock them down. Another one attack, and they keep keep doing. It's just, just the display. The person they're gonna bring. People back gonna have uh, Black Panther probably jumping in there. All of a sudden, the, uh, the, the defenders from Netflix go show. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. I doubt that highly. I don't even think Kevin Feige likes those shows. Like he just say that they, yeah, they are part of our universe, but I don't think he really likes those shows. Those uh, Netflix shows. And he says they're a net, and he he always says when someone asks, oh, eventually you know they'll be a part of it. But, I mean, I can say that all the time. Yeah, eventually, yeah, they keep saying that. And then eventually it never happens. But you never know. Man. Until I see it, all he's doing is blowing smoke. But, and when I see Luke Cage or something, in something or a cameo, then I'm like, okay, you, you did it. You had him in there. And, or if they have an actual main member. Of the squad in a TV show, I'm like, okay, you didn't. That. They they think they can get away with having uh, Jamie Alexander and uh, and Agents of Shield or that or the what was that the first or second episode I think they had uh, Samuel Jackson and Nick Fury and the, at the last like two minutes of the episode like cursing out Coulson and I was like, oh, that was a nice little thing, but I was like, at the same time, I don't really care about. They feel like I want to see some of the main Avengers, some of the main heroes come and interact with them or something. Or the thing that really pissed me off was that when they was when they was kind of advertising, they was gonna have they was gonna be like a Thor kind of crossover with them because Thor: The Dark World was uh, coming out. And then when Thor: The Dark World came out, they had their little crossover, but crossover because. I remember in that movie they 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 were fighting in like a, a museum or something in like England, and in the show they were basically just cleaning up the the museum, so that was their crossover. This should the episode had nothing else to do with what went on in that. And I was like, oh. and then they uh, what was that? They spoiled something. I can't remember. It was it was one of soldier. Or? I can't remember. It was I thought it was might have been I mean I wasn't a soldier. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was they spoiled something, Captain America. I think it was, it was one of the soldier. Yeah, it was. A lot of people got pissed off with that. I didn't really care. I, was like, ah. I mean I kinda expected the movie to end like that because I hadn't seen uh When the Soldier yet. I saw the the episode for uh Agents of Shield before I saw Winter Soldier, and then um, I saw. I mean, it didn't bother me. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, well. I mean, it didn't. I mean, yeah, spoilers don't really don't bother me at all. Anyway, so I don't care less. Like I see both of them. Um, the only thing, the only spoiler I think that would bother me if I knew the ending to uh, uh, the uh, the I see dead people kid. Why am I forgetting the name of the movie? I keep wanting to say signs in my head, but that's not the movie. Uh, wow, I forgot the name of the movie. Anyway, I'm going, to, I'm going away. I'm going off topic. I hope, I want this movie to be really good. I know it's kind of been getting some flack like online and stuff like that from different people who are kind of like, oh, I want this SJW bullshit and all stuff like that. It was a good movie. It's a good movie. I'm not going to... I don't talk shit about movies before I see them. I mean, I talk shit about a trailer, but not about the actual movie. The movie looks pretty good from what I've seen, the, for this first trailer anyway. And I, 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 It looks like this is a, the official trailer. They didn't even do a teaser. So I guess Marvel's like, fuck that. We don't need to do a teaser. But it looks good to me. Look good to me, man. So hopefully the movie's good. And everyone can enjoy it and have a good time. Because, like I said, Marvel has become 
well, Disney that does it that just as a whole. They know how to hype your ass up, <laughs> hype people up to look to like a twelve. So you going there, whether you you know love the movie that much, like the hype, like the movie lived up to the hype or not. Still, you was hype and and they, and they got your ass in there to watch that movie and it probably get you to come back a second time to watch. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, discuss, tell me you know how wrong I am, how stupid I am, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know stuff like that. You know, just normal YouTube comments. So uh, I hope y'all have a a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.